Good morning. Welcome to CBN, the Callisburg News Network. We're your hosts. I'm Grace Henrys. I'm Royston Carr. What's in it for you? What's the best dance to do on Thanksgiving? I don't know. The, the turkey trot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite Halloween candy? Oh, right, Twix. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, my favorite candy is Twix. Welcome back to a Sports Minute with Kobe and Carter. Did you know that Tiger Woods hit his first home run when he was eight? GTB Pigeon Forge by one North UB Union County. Sevierville County lost to Cock County. Cock County. This week, let's hope. Vols beat Georgia. Go Vols, Mr. Jeremy! Hey, Royston, are you excited? Today's our first interview. Yeah, Brindley, why do you wear those silly yellow vests? They're not silly. That's how we get to open car doors. What do you do in school council? We sell stuff at the school store and we get to do car duty more. How much, how much stuff is there? How much does it work? There's all kinds of things. There's... We sell stuff from 50 cents to $12. I want to be in student council one day. Maybe we can pick that for our new club because new clubs are come that we get to pick soon. Good morning, CBN. For this week's weather, it's going to be all rain in the middle 70s. Hello, everybody at Cowitzburg. Welcome to our next guest. She needs no introduction, but let me tell you a few things we know. She is the daughter of Scott and Debbie Guest. Um, she is the hus she is the wife of Brad Justice. She is the mother of Wyatt Justice, a teacher of students, a leader of educators. We all adore her, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jessica Justice. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Gabriel, one of the interviewers for you today. Yes, sir. All right, what is your most meaningful life experience so far? I would say the most meaningful life experience I've had so far is probably having my child, Wyatt. Um, that was a, a very a big, huge change in our life and probably the best thing that I've done in my life so far. Yeah, pretty good experience. Yeah. What is one time you got in trouble? Oh, one time that I got in trouble. So, okay, when I was, I was probably nine, my mom said that I spit gum out on our front porch at our house, and I was like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. So then she thought I was lying, so she, I had to have mouth soap in my mouth, I got dish soap squirted in my mouth, it's very disgusting. Like 10 years later, my sister finally confessed that it was her gum on the porch. So I got in trouble for something that I hadn't even done. Mm, bad sister. Bad sister. Good morning, Miss Good morning, Miss Maggie. What is one time you learned from failure? One time that I learned from failure. There have been a lot of times that I've learned from failure in my life, academically and educationally. Um, in the classroom, there were lots of times that I planned things that just didn't work out. Um, well, for instance, once we were doing measurement and uh, we were working on the haunted house and so we were making fake blood out of chocolate syrup and dye and like corn syrup or cornstarch, something like that. And Miss Justice thought it would be a great idea to use the fake blood to paint the sheets in her classroom. Do you know what happens when you splatter fake blood with a paintbrush in a classroom? It gets really messy. It gets really messy all over the ceiling. So if you go down to Miss DeBusk's room, because the very first haunted house was in Miss DeBusk's room, there's still some blood speckles on some of the ceiling tiles because I learned that is not a good decision to do in school. You should have done that outside. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, 
Miss Justice. Good I'm morning. one of your favorite students. <gasps> of course. What job did you have before you were a teacher? So before I was a teacher, I started working when I was 16. And besides babysitting, a lot of the time I did babysitting like when I was 14 and 15. When I was 16, I got my first real job at the Dollar Tree. And then when I turned 18, uh, I got a job at Blockbuster, which none of y'all know what that is because it doesn't exist anymore. Blockbuster was like the red box before red box. So it was a movie store. People actually went in and rented movies and we had popcorn and candy and snacks. And it was fun because we would get movies before everybody else did. So I could watch new movies. Um, and then after that, I worked for the YMCA as a summer camp director. And when I was in college, I worked for the public relations office and the alumni office. Mm -hmm. What did you want to be when you grew up? Well, the very first thing I wanted to be was an American Gladiator. So when I was about six, American Gladiator was like America's Ninja Warrior before America's Ninja, Ninja Warrior. And it had these big, strong people on it, and it was an obstacle course. And they used to get like a giant game of tag. And one of the girls used to shoot this like big Nerf gun at people, and that's what I wanted to do. And then I realized, okay, that's probably not something that I'm going to grow up and be. So then I wanted to be a veterinarian, and then I actually went to college on a theater scholarship, and I wanted to be an actress. And then I realized they don't make much money either, and I didn't really enjoy what I was doing, but I loved kids. So that's how I got into education. What is the most interesting way the world, the teacher world, has changed during your lifetime? So I would say the most interesting way that education has changed in my lifetime is probably the way that teachers and education is respected. When I was in school, teachers were held to a higher esteem than what they are now. Um, and it's very difficult when, when students, parents, and, and society don't really respect us as professionals and have taken away a lot of our ability to be, make as big a difference as we'd want to. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, Ms. Justice. Good morning. What is your most interesting talent? So my most interesting talent, according to Ms. Conrad and Ms. Ware, would be the impressions that I make. I like to pretend to be famous people at times, or I like to talk like in Britain, and I go into accents every once in a while. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Good morning, Miss Good Justice. Morning. I'm Knox Yoakum, probably your favorite student behind Braylon J. Wynn Harmon, honestly. <laughs> um, so, what, so, I will ask you just a final question, to, and then we'll finish it off. Sounds good? Sounds good. If you could time travel, what what advice would you give your 100-year-old self? Oh, probably to lay off the fast food and to remember the little things each and every day, to, mm -hmm. to find some joy in, in the little things in life, and remember that not everything has to be a big production, but to enjoy those small things. All right. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Justice. Thank you for having me. Oh, we, uh, we are all happy that you have uh, can, that you have decided to uh, come here and let us interview you, and uh, we and we are so glad that you have turned out to be our first guest on the show. Actually, thank you, thank you so much. Callisburg Broadcasting Club is amazing. They did a fantastic job.